Back, we're approaching one year since the first COVID-19 case was discovered in the U.S. and we're still seeing record numbers rising over with 24 million confirmed worldwide and over 400,000 deaths in the U.S. from COVID-19. This morning, we welcome back Dr. Duada Pouncey from Functional Health and Wellness to give us more insight on surviving COVID-19. Good morning to you, Dr. Pouncey. Good morning, Cleo. Thank you for having me back. Of course. What are some current trends that you're seeing while treating COVID-19 cases? Gosh, Cleo, there's so much that's happened in the past six months with testing and seeing an increased number of infections. And now the topic of immunity with these new vaccines. We're seeing new strains of COVID-19 that are coming out. So for me, I'm having the burning questions for my patients. Am I contagious or do I have immunity? And I'm seeing people that are testing positive after being previously infected. They continue to test positive for months. And I've even seen people that's had the vaccine that also test positives. So there's concerns whether this new strain of the virus will be covered by the vaccine or even be detected on the current test. And there's all these, these long haulers. These are the ones that continue to have symptoms many months after the infection. So there's still a lot unknown. Wow. You know, what are your thoughts really on how COVID-19 vaccines will affect immunity and maybe change the course of the virus? Well, you know, it's very possible it can change the course of the virus. There's several factors that can either facilitate or interfere with the development of antibodies from a vaccine. One thing we have to consider is that everyone's body is completely different. Our immune system is different, so that means our DNA is different. So your body might respond different to the vaccine. Another thing you need to remember is that the vaccine doesn't necessarily prevent you from getting the virus. Um, it just lessens the symptoms if you're exposed. So it really just depends on your immune system is how your body will respond to immunity. So really understanding how your body function is key. Uh, Dr. Pouncey, let's talk about long haulers. Uh, there is, is more information coming out about how people are affected long term after contracting COVID-19. Can you kind of, I guess, break down what you know about these long haulers? Well, oh, these long haulers, well, they're somewhat of a mystery in the medical field. So there's, these are the individuals that had COVID-19 in the past, but they continue to have symptoms even months after being infected. So they have persistent symptoms like memory loss, they have some gastrointestinal issues, maybe daily dizzy, dizziness or even headaches. They have extreme headaches and then also loss of taste and smell continues, and even heart problems. Um, so we're really keeping a close eye out on this group because we're looking at maybe dramatic effects on the healthcare system and the economy if they require long-term care. Wow, can you tell us how you're handling some of your COVID-19 uh, patients who may be surviving it as well and looking into alternative therapies? Yes, yeah, so there's no gold standard or proven therapies to alternative therapies right now, but now that we know inflammation to be a contributing factor for increasing complications related to COVID-19, I found that incorporating things like anti-inflammatory diets with like key nutrients and vitamins such as vitamin D. Vitamin D is like a natural anti-inflammatory and not antimicrobial. Another thing they can use is glutathione. That's also a natural anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. So if you naturally boost your immune system with antioxidants to get rid of toxins, you can use things as simple as like herbal teas, um, take high dose vitamin C, elderberry is good to help boost the immune system and zinc. And of course, I've always preferred the IV vitamin nutrients because you get 100% absorption in the vitamins. It seems to be the most beneficial. Dr. Pouncey, thank you for everything that you've been doing. And thank you for waking up early as well and joining us here on Daybreak. Can we put your information out there? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, so you, you can, can reach us. us. You can reach us at dfw-wellness.com okay. or you can follow me on Instagram at Dr. Dada, that's D-R-D-A-W-D-A, -D -A, or you can call us at 972-668-7500. Perfect. All right. Thank you, Dr. Pouncey. Thank you for joining us once again. Thank you, Cleo. Of course.